here, ladies and gentlemen. This is obviously one and only Light Liger here, aka the Crypto Enthusiast. And today we are gonna be looking into this brand new DeFi dApp called MooniSwap, which was released yesterday, which is a AMM protocol, automated market maker. So in case you have been in the DeFi craze, you probably are familiar with Uniswap. And basically, this is based on Uniswap, but it has a couple of features which make it a lot more lucrative option for liquidity providers. And we're going to be looking what they're claiming on their Medium page in terms of higher returns on Mooniswap versus Uniswap. And it could be that Mooniswap will be taking over the place as the number one swapping site. And what we're going to be doing in this video, we're going to be going through why you should swap into MooniSwap over Uniswap. And then we're going to be looking into the guide, how to swap, how to pull, all of those things. So they had a Medium page uh, release this article about the release of MooniSwap. And this is by the One Inch Exchange, which I did a video uh, not too long ago, which is an aggregator finding you the best prices across all the DeFi websites, whatever it's Mooniswap, Uniswap, Pathfinder, etc. And it will give you the best price on the token you're going to be swapping from Ethereum or whatever token you basically choose uh, to trade on the platform. And I'm going to leave my link for the one inch uh, platform, my referral link, if you guys want to support me. There was already a couple of people who signed under me, and I'm really, really thankful for the people who did that because I saw some really nice, interesting DeFi tokens drop on my wallet. So thank you very much. But let's get back to the actual article. So there's a bunch of, bunch of math and uh, mumbo jumbo, and as in mumbo jumbo, the thing that I can't really explain to you. Very tech heavy stuff. But what the here is interesting to me is actually the statistics that they are talking about, the slippages are going to be uh, a lot more lesser with Mooniswap versus Uniswap 2. And that is also a very interesting thing. And what they have here expected to say is the Mooniswap will generate 50% to 200% more income for the liquidity providers versus Uniswap version 2 due to the redirection of price liberty profits. And so now if you are providing, you know, a pool on Uniswap, now you might want to consider moving into Mooniswap, given that they claim, and obviously we have to see it until the stats come out, that possibly we could see a much more higher uh, income for providing liquidity into the system. And let's go back into the Mooniswap and actually show you guys how the swapping is done on the platform. So first thing you do connect a wallet um, and you have to accept the terms. So we have a lot of good options here, first of all, which is very nice. I'm going to be using injected one. I have my Saturn wallet here open. This, uh, if you're using MetaMask, that is the one that you're going to be using as well. And the first thing you need to do, obviously, when you're swapping a token, you're going to be choosing what you're going to be swapping. So usually you want to buy with Ethereum because that one has the, that's the pairing that's going to be having most traffic. And once there's a lot of liquidity in the pool, it means that you don't, uh, you can buy a more larger sums and the slippage is going to be much more slower. Slippage is the percentage that you're going to be paying more, basically. And so you don't want to have like a weird pairing, pairing like engine to, I don't know, seek or something else. And here you can find almost a lot of different projects. We have, for example, uh, Pareto here. So in case I want to buy Pareto, I'm going to be putting out the amount I want to be investing in Pareto through Ethereum. So I'm going to be building 0 0.05 and it will show you if there's actual liquidity on the market. So right now Pareto doesn't have any liquidity on the Mooniswap, meaning I'm not able to trade Ethereum into Pareto um, and not the other way around either. So we're going to be finding something that has, and obviously there's not a lot of liquidity pools as I'm making this video because it literally just came out. So let's see, like Statera, for example, uh, it's another one. But if we go into a lot more popular pairing like DAI, we can see that there is an actual swapping process here. And there will be a route here, which is showing you where the actual transactions go through, um, through third party services. That's what the aggregator is for. Um, and there's going to be more fees because of the jumps, obviously. And right now, the fees are really, really high. So you might want to actually try 
if we can find a USDC pairing and we, we can swap it immediately. So if I wanted to swap 0.01 Ethereum into USDC, um, that would be the price that I would be paying right now. It's not the most competitive price as of right now, but if I want to, this I would be the swap and then I have to confirm this transaction. Uh, now there's gonna be the actual fee. As you can see, gas price is goddamn high right now and you don't necessarily want to pay, pay this much. So um, right now, actually, the low is standing at 83 gray, so it would be around $5. And I'm not going to be doing that in this uh, video right now, but all you have to do to confirm the swap is just click Submit, and it will basically do that. Sometimes it will ask you to unlock the token, and there's a fee attached to that as well. But once you uh, trade already once between a one pairing, you don't have to unlock the token twice. And so that's for the swapping. That's how basically easy it is, okay? It's decentralized, very easy. And once the pools come out, you're gonna be seeing a lot more. And now we're gonna be looking into the actual pools. And oh yeah, I probably should show you that in case there is not a token that is not listed on the Mooney swap, all you have to do is go to Etherscan Find the token that you're going to be using, uh, click the copy, the actual contract address, and then go back to MooneySwap, and then go into search or paste address. And here we can see the 69, and we're going to be adding it, and voila, and there's some type of a logo problem we have right now. And you click I understand, and now we are able to trade that token here. But obviously this is some um, shitcoin from Biz, so it's not going to be <laughs> tradable as of right now. Um, so what we're going to be doing is moving back to the pools. So the pooling is simple. You have to provide the pool liquidity, which is supply, into the pool which you're going to be choosing. So the pairing of F and Dai, for example, or F and Statera, or something else. So we're gonna be have to choose what we're gonna be providing into the market. So I'm gonna be choosing Ethereum, and I'm also gonna be choosing Chi, which is the token that they have on the platform as of right now. Um, sorry, Chi is the one inch exchange gas token basically, and you supply the token, and then it will basically give you a number on how much you have to supply on Ethereum. So this is what I'm gonna be seeing, and maybe a bit more than that. So right now I will have the 100% share of the pool and I will be earning um, 1,160 Chi per Ethereum. So basically every time somebody is trading uh, Chi and F in this pool, I will be getting money. I will be getting dividends basically to my account. Um, so I will be creating this pool right as of right now. And okay, the Quay prices and the Actual gas limit is fucking insane. So we're not gonna be doing that, okay? So make sure you pay a really, really close attention to the actual gas fees and things like that proposed by the system. Um, on every different uh, platform, we're gonna be seeing probably a lot more different um, numbers. So um, let's see if we can tweak it down into $5.6. And now we have submitted a transaction it might get failed because there's not really that much gas that we put through. And it remains to be said that each of these um, different types of platforms and I mean, web fee wallets are gonna be giving you different rates. So make sure you use F gas station to keep track on basically how much the fee is going to be. Right now, I don't really suggest trading through D5 because these fees are so goddamn high. So I would wait right now until things cool down and some of those Ponzi uh, smart contract scams are away and people, you know, don't interact with them anymore. And after you have done the providing and the transaction goes through, uh, this page will update and you will be seeing the how much you have in the pool. Okay, so the actual amount that I tried to pull in failed. The transaction obviously didn't have enough gas and I'm not gonna be paying $30 for gas to just to show you guys how to basically pull it in. But basically you can also import in the pools that you have joined in. So in case you, that actual transaction just went through, we can put out the pool that we just tried a minute ago 
and just import it. And also when the pool created, it will show you how much you have in it there. And it also adds the amount that you have accumulated uh, by pulling into the pool. Sadly, there is not like an interface which will show you how much of those are dividends and etc. But once you want to stop pulling, you just basically draw everything out from the contract and that's where you will gain interest, top of the pooled amount that you previously uh, prepared for liquidity. And that's pretty much my rundown of Mooniswap. Obviously, if you want to support my work, here's my Ethereum address. Obviously, it supports me a lot more if you change uh, register under my link down to uh, one in exchange, which once again, I really recommend because it can potentially save you a lot more money and, you know, in costs, especially if you use the cheat token. But thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.